So, just a real quick thing I want to show you guys. I'm just now getting started on uh, the Murderado with getting all that stuff done that I told you guys about in the last update video about them. Um, here's the oil pan. It's out. I've never, I don't know a whole lot about these LS style motors. I know this, is, all I know is uh, this is the 6 -0. The previous owner swapped a 6 -0 from a three-quarter ton into this truck with the instrument cluster. So the mileage that the instrument cluster says is on this truck is actually incorrect. Uh, the truck's got, I think, like 300K plus on it, the body and frame and everything, including the rear axle. But the trans and the motor only have 186K on them because the, the gauge cluster and the motor and the trans came out of that three-quarter ton truck is what I was told. Now, I've checked the numbers on this block, and it is a 6.0, so he didn't lie about that. I'm not sure about the trans, though. But anyways, regardless, I, I don't know a whole lot about these motors. Um, I'm more old school. I know a lot more about the older uh, first-gen uh, small block Chevys. Um, I've never had an oil pan off. I've never had the heads off or even an intake off of one of these LS-style motors. Now, I knew it was it needed an oil pan gas because, as you can see, it, it's just it's been leaking oil for a while. One thing I didn't know is the oil filter is actually part of the oil pan. I've never even paid attention to that. The inside of the oil pan is it's all right. It's no worse than what I would expect from a high mileage motor. But here would be a reason why it's leaking. Right here where the, it's literally separated. Separated. So that would be why it's leaking. So we're gonna get this new gasket down here installed and uh, continue on with this after we get it all cleaned up a little bit. So stay tuned guys, we got more coming.